friends, how's your week going? I hope you're all enjoying it. Thank you so much for clicking onto this video. If you're new to this channel, I'm Nin. I love to take care, propagate plants, share what I learned on this channel so we both can actually learn and have fun together. If you like this kind of content, please hit the likes button, subscribe to the channel, pop a comment in the comment section down below and I will reply to you. Today I'm going to be repotting my very sad looking Peperomia watermelon, otherwise known as Peperomia agerius. She's looking so sad because I think I repotted her from her nursery pot too early and the pot I popped her in is way too big and what's happened is that I end up over watering my Peperomia and also can you see her leaves? A lot of them have gone brown and that's a sign of overwatering or a sign that's an issue with the roots. Today I'm going to repot her into this terracotta pot and I chose terracotta because water doesn't evaporate just from the bottom. It also evaporates and not just from the top but also from the sides of the pot. So I think there would be a lot better in helping me to try not to overwater my plant. Also the potting mix I'm using today consists of 40% premium potting mix, 30% orchid mix and 30% perlite. I think this potting mix will work well because it will maintain moisture but still well draining enough so that the water doesn't actually sit there and make it soggy. So let's start. I'm going to pop my gloves on and first of all what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off all the leaves that have gone brown. I don't, I'm doing that basically because I don't want the plant to put more energy to maintain the leaves when the leaves are not doing anything at all. So you can see, I've just got my clean clippers here. I'm going to cut all the leaves that are brown, like that one there. And this one here, I actually have three Peperomia in this one pot, but I think this pot is just way too big. Oh, this dead stalk just came off. And there's another one here. This one here. So I have cut off all the leaves that have gone brown and I'm going to repot it now. So this terracotta pot already has some soil in it. I'm just going to take out my plants. So I've got my spoon here. I'm going to delicately go around its roots. I don't want to really disturb the roots as much as possible. I've just got a tray. I'm just going to bring a tray over here and On this first peperomia looks pretty good. I can't see any root rot. Root rot, when you're looking for root rot on the root, what will happen is the roots will look very mushy and black as well. These are actually pretty good. These are looking brown. It's got a little bit of peat moss around it because these plants were from the nursery and they were being grown in peat moss. So I don't want to actually disturb the roots anymore. So I'm just going to pop it into my terracotta pot. And then check out the next one. So I'll just bring the plant over here so you guys can see. So I'm just going to delicately lift the, my next peperomia out of the pot. This 
one looking pretty good. It has a lot of roots and once again it's covered in peat moss. So I'll just delicately remove as much peat moss as I can. I actually don't like plants in peat moss. I find it, I tend to overwater, end up overwatering my plants if they have too much peat moss in the soil. Just going to remove as much as I can. I just broke off a leaf. And just pop it in my terracotta pot. And just the final one. You can see like how much soil there is. This is way too much for these three plants. So once again, I'm just going to delicately lift out the third peperomia. Okay. Yeah, so this one definitely would have had issues with root rot uh, because all the roots have actually died from the bottom. So it's likely that I'm actually repotting it now because I've really left it in that bigger pot longer. This plant would have completely died. So I'm going to pop this one in the terracotta pot. Sorry about the mess, guys. I'm, I tend to be very messy when I repot my plants. I don't know how you guys go about it, but I tend to be very, very messy. So I'll pop my three plants in the terracotta pot. I'm just going to backfill it. I'm actually not going to use this old uh, soil because I'm not sure if, if if there is root rot I don't want that to be going into the new pot because that can actually lead to root rot or further root rot of my plant so I'm going to use new soil so I've got new soil here and I'm going to backfill my plant or backfill my pot so I'm just going to gently put in the soil I love peperomia watermelon. How do you guys find with your peperomia? I find the only thing about peperomia watermelon, for me anyway, is that it, I find it the hardest peperomia to take care of. I have about 30 different types of peperomia, but I just can't seem to keep a peperomia watermelon as happy as I like for I like my plant to be. Hey guys, so I have back filled my peperomia in its new pot. For me to check if the pot is properly backfilled is that I tap the pot on the table very gently. I don't want to tap it hard, especially this type of terracotta, it's just going to break. And I gently tap it on the table to make sure that the saw is going all the way down the bottom of the pot. I also use my trusty chopstick here to go around the pot just to get rid of all the air bubbles. I think it's important to get rid of all the air bubbles because if there's air bubbles, it's an area where my peperomia won't be able to gain water or also an area where my peperomia won't be able to grow the roots in. So I just make sure that all the air pockets are gone. I also use my hands to gently tap down the soil just to make sure that my plant is properly in the soil. I'm just going to lightly water my peperomia, just very lightly just to make sure that the soil is moist but not soggy and hopefully this will revive my peperomia and hopefully she'll thrive soon and you can see this is a lot more less soil so I'm going to be less likely to overwater her and you can tell there's a lot more soil in the original pot and I think that's where my mistake was. I popped my peperomia in a pot that was way too big for her and I actually ended up overwatering her. Thank you so much guys for spending your time with me. If you like this kind of content, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And thank you so much for your support and for helping me to create more videos about plants. You all have a wonderful day and I'll catch you all in the next video.